Hey everybody, how is it going? And welcome to episode 2 of my Slayer Only Iron Man series. And in this video, we're going to be getting our first task from Tyrael. On our way there, I wanted to talk about a few things first. I started the series without a final objective in mind. I mostly decided to start it as a proof of concept and because Jagex was giving out a free month of membership to people with Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime. I did want to add one rule to the series. If we are assigned a monster that drops boss keys like hill giants or moss giants and we get a boss key, we are allowed to fight the boss but only with the gear that we get from Slayer. This will give us some nice objectives to aim for, as well as potentially giving us access to some good gear upgrades that will be much needed on this account. The beginning of the series is going to be pretty slow, but once we get some better levels and more HP, and also potentially some better gear, we should have no problem doing harder tasks as well as bosses. I did want to clarify one mistake from my past videos though. Tyrael and Cristilla, who is the Wilderness Slayer Master, are available from level 1 combat, and Majna who is the Mortania Slayer Master is available at level 20 combat before Vinaka is at 40 combat. I was incorrect in assuming that the Mortania Master was available at a higher combat level than Vinaka. So for the most part we're probably not going to wind up needing to do Priest in Peril or the Restless Ghost Quest since by the time that we'll have any decent gear we'll already probably be a pretty decent combat level and pretty decent combat stats so that we won't have to use that Slayer Master anyway. What I really wanted you guys to see was what it was like training only Slayer on an Iron Man account. And my hope is that maybe some of the things that I do on this account might help you out in the future if you ever decide to do a challenge account like this one. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our first task. Alright guys, so our first task is rats. We got a pretty simple one. It's not going to, you know, be very tough for us to complete. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fight uh, big rats. I'm going to go ahead and fight um, just the regular rats that you'd find over in Lumbridge. Um, but before we get into that, I think what we should do is go ahead and find some food. Alright, so for food, we're going to wind up getting um, tea and frog's legs or toad's legs as they're called in old school runescape um, and we can get these pretty easily um, you're going to want to start from the gate that's just north of Falador and uh, from there you essentially just go left and south a little bit and there's two spawns for the tea there's one inside of a house and there's also one on a table that is um, located right there next to the uh, swamp where the toads are and then usually the route that I take is I get the tea from the house I get the tea off the table and then I go and I get the three toads that are around the swamp and you simply just click on the toads in your inventory and they, they give you the toads legs and then pretty much by that time the tea is res respawned and uh, you can keep doing that as many times as you want you can farm the tea if you would like um, you know it's really up to you uh, the tea is nice. It gives you, I believe, 3 HP, and it also boosts your attack. So that's definitely something that will be extremely helpful for us.
Alright guys, we finished killing all of the rats we possibly could in Lumbridge, and now we're going to head back to Tyrael for our next task. Alright guys, so we've made it back to Tyrio, and I decided that I'm going to just look through the Slayer shop, just kind of checking over the items. Um, this is the only store I'm going to allow us to buy from because uh, without it we probably won't be able to complete some of the uh, Slayer tasks that we get. Kind of just looking over prices and stuff. Um, getting our second task here. Uh, and our second task is spiders, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to wind up going back to Lumbridge. I know, <laughs> we've been going there a lot um, during this series. But we're going to go back to Lumbridge and we're going to fight them right over there by the uh, by the goblins. Um, the little goblin hut that's over there by the gate to al Karid. So I was actually wrong. I actually forgot that there's a spider and goblin, a little spawn section here right by the ham hideout. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to fight them here. Um, if we were higher level combat, we could go to the stronghold, the player security stronghold or whatever it's called, and uh, fight the spiders in the second level. But there's no way in hell that we can fight them if we can't even fight uh, like a level 20 creature with the... Uh, with iron armor and uh, essentially a bronze short sword. So so I think for right now, these basic monsters are going to be pretty good for us uh, XP-wise and, you know, just for this.
So I'm not sure exactly what happened with the game footage, but somehow like some of my tasks got like crisscrossed. So I think actually the um, the four tasks that we had was actually monkeys, but for some reason I missed like you know the beginning part of that task. So I only had the second part. I actually wound up dying um, while I was doing the monkeys task. So I kind of had to break my rule and go sell some stuff to the general store. Um, that's just north of Turio. And that's really just because we didn't have any way of making money. And I needed 30 gold to get uh, back to Karamja to, you know, get all my items. And then from there, we could get a little bit of gold so that that wouldn't happen again.
All right guys, so I know that we had some problems with some of the footage early on in the video. Like I said in the episode one, I wanted to do longer videos and I wanted to do them like, you know, tasks one through five, five through 10, things like that. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed and if you enjoyed it, please feel free to check out the other videos in the series. I've got episode zero with the rules, episode one and episode two up right now. Um, I'm gonna try to get the rest of the footage edited up and into a video um, but i'd like to thank you guys for watching and have a great day and one more thing guys if you want to stay up to date when i put out a new video make sure to hit that subscribe button you don't have to i'm not into youtube to make money i just do this as a fun creative thing but like i said thank you guys for watching and have a great day